Newtonian relativity and Galilean transformations are all about working in two different reference frames or some people call uh, the laboratory frame of reference. And so your first frame is usually a stationary one, as in this case, and then your second frame you're going to need to switch to is one which is moving relative to that. So for example, with a velocity of two meters per second going left. So in our first case, we're asked to figure out the momentum of an elastic collision between these two soccer balls. And that's, that's a pretty straightforward calculation. So you remember that momentum uh, total would just be equal to the sum of mass times velocity. And so that is our mass of the first soccer ball. Uh, denoted by the 1 times the velocity of the first soccer ball plus the mass of the second soccer ball times the velocity of the second soccer ball. So, very simple calculation 1 kilogram times 5 meters per second plus 2 kilograms times now notice velocity is going left, so it needs to be negative. 10 meters per second. Uh, the convention we use is x-axis going right with velocity is positive, but left is negative. So you run through this equation, plug it into your calculator, and you find out momentum is negative 15 kilograms, kilogram meters per second, which is units for momentum. So now you're asked to determine the momentum, except we're going to move to this frame of reference here. So we're now moving left with a velocity of two meters per second. And it's, again, it's a, it's a pretty straightforward calculation. So just the sum of mv, mass times velocity, and it's gonna be equal to the same as above, so and 2 v2, except uh, now the velocities are going to be different here, so we need to account for this 2 meters per second going left, so we're going to do velocity 1, we'll call uh, negative 2 meters per second, or we'll just call it positive for now, equals uh, v3, so it's going to be v1 minus v3 plus m2 times v2 minus v3 so this is equal to 1 kilogram times 5 meters per second minus 2 meters per second and uh, and actually okay so this is the important part um, we need to recall that moving left on the x-axis is negative. So it's actually going to be a negative of a negative. Which will make it positive in the end. Then plus m2, which is 2 kilograms and velocity 2 is going left. And then minus uh, negative 2 meters per second, and this is the way they usually want you to do it, uh, which works out to negative 9 kilogram, but I'll show you a, just an easier way to think about it. So they want you to take the difference between the velocities here, but really you can think about this another way. So in this first situation, we were just in our frame we'll call 1, and it's stationary, so it's not moving at all. But now in our second situation, we've got our frame 1 and frame 2. And so the way everybody thinks about it is they assume, well, we're still in frame 1. So this thing's moving left with the velocity, and that's usually how they give it to you as well. But really, we've switched now. So now we're stationary in the second frame. And so it takes a little bit of practice to get used to it, but if the second frame is not moving, because that's where you are, then actually what's happening is 
this frame is approaching you. And so another way, an easier way I like to do this is to just say the P total is equal to M1. Um, I'll just plug it in. It's the same as above, but just thinking about it differently. So one kilograms times five meters per second. And we're in this frame. So actually we're just going to add two meters per second because really in this frame, frame one is approaching us with a, a positive velocity since it's going to the right. Then plus two kilograms times negative 10 meters per second plus two meters per second. And of course, this comes out to the exact same thing, nine kilogram meters per second. Okay, thank you. Have an excellent day.